The Extreme Universe Space Observatory onboard Japanese Experiment Module is the first space mission concept devoted to the investigation of cosmic rays and neutrinos of extreme energy e greater than 5 times 1019 electron volts. Using the Earth's atmosphere as a giant detector, the detection is performed by looking at the streak of fluorescence produced when such a particle interacts with the Earth's atmosphere. EUSO EUSO was a mission of the European Space Agency, designed to be hosted on the International Space Station as an external payload of the Columbus. EUSO successfully completed the «Phase A» study, however in 2004 ESA decided not to proceed with the mission because of programmatic and financial constraints. The mission was then re-oriented as a payload to be hosted on board the GEM module of the Japanese Kibo facility of the ISS. The mission was then renamed GEM EUSO. <laughs> GEM EUSO GEM EUSO is currently studied by Riken and JAXA, in collaboration with 95 other institutions from 16 countries, aiming for a flight after 2020. The proposed instrument consists of a set of three large Fresnel lenses of 2.65 m diameter with top and bottom cut off to reduce the minimum diameter to 1.9 m so that they fit in the HTV resupply vehicle in which the instrument is to be launched feeding a detector consisting of 137 modules each of 48 by 48 array of photomultipliers. The imaging takes place in the 300 nanometers to 450 nanometers band, low energy UV through deep blue, and photons are time tagged with 2.5 microsecond precision. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Orbital debris detection. In addition to its main, science mission, EUSO might also be used to detect orbiting space junk that could pose a threat to ISS, but is too small to be spotted by astronomers 0.4 inches to 4 inches, or 1 cm to 10 cm. The ISS is shielded adequately against particles that are smaller than 0.4 inches. Particles in this range, or larger, can inflict serious damage, especially to other objects in orbit, since many of them are traveling at speeds of about 22,370 miles per hour Nearly 3,000 tons of space debris reside in low Earth orbit, more than 700,000 pieces of debris larger than 0.4 inches now orbit Earth. A laser might then be used to deflect dangerous particles. The project could be ready to implement after about 2017–2018, using better lasers. Other projects under the EUSO framework EUSO TA Extreme Universe Space Observatory Telescope Array, a ground-based telescope designed to prove the technology of EUSO telescopes. Was installed at Black Rock Mesa, Utah, United States at one of the Telescope Array fluorescence detectors in March 2013 first observations in 2015. The experiment was ongoing in 2018. The experiment has detected some UHECR events, ultra high energy cosmic ray. Fast fluorescence detector array of single pixel telescopes, a concept for a future ground-based cosmic ray detector. The components of EUSO TA telescope were used for tests in the Fast project in 2014. Fast project observed for 19 days. After these tests, development of a dedicated fast prototype has been pursued. EUSO Balloon, a balloon-based EUSO telescope meant to further validate the technology. The balloon flight took place in 2014 in Canada and lasted five hours. 
The telescope observed laser simulated cosmic ray events. EUSOSPB EUSO Super Pressure Balloon, a high altitude heavy lift balloon EUSO telescope. Launched in 2017 from New Zealand EUSOSPB-1 mission. The flight took 13 days, but was cut substantially shorter than the planned 100 days. Second mission EUSOSPB-2 is planned for 2021. TUS tracking ultraviolet setup, a Russian mission on board the Lomonosov satellite launched 2016, now 2018 included in the EUSO program originally was not part of EUSO program. Mini EUSO, an ultraviolet telescope planned for ISS. The telescope is to serve as a pathfinder mission for UCHER missions in space and to map the ultraviolet background produced by Earth atmosphere. The mapping of the UV background is important for the follow-up missions KEUSO and GEM EUSO. The mission started as a cooperation between Italian Space Agency and Russian Space Agency. It is to be added to ISS in 2019. KEUSO KLYPVE EUSO KLYPVE is a Russian acronym for Extreme Energy Cosmic Rays, a Russian space agency project to place an UHECR telescope in the Russian segment of ISS. The project builds upon the TUS experiment of the Russian Lomonosov satellite. In 2017, the launch was scheduled for 2022. GEM EUSO Japanese Experiment Module EUSO The final goal of the GEM EUSO program is to have the GEM EUSO telescope installed into ISS. POEMMA Probe of Multi-Messenger Astrophysics, a dedicated satellite mission, two satellites to observe UHECR events in the atmosphere. Currently, 2018, a NASA-sponsored concept study External links GEM EUSO webpage ESAEUSO webpage